my loves today we're going to be creating this winter inspired look it's an everyday look that I've been wearing recently I just wanted to create it for you guys so if you guys like to see this look then please keep on watching First, as always, I'm going to be applying a moisturizer. This is the Strivectin for Minimizing Moisturizer. I'm going to be applying that liberally to my face. To get rid of those dark circles, I normally love using the Tarte Vitamin C Brightener Lotion. I'm applying that under my eyes. And I'm also going to apply that on the lids as well. Now I'm gonna be concealing. I'm gonna start by correcting my face with the LA Girl Orange Corrector and I'm using a flat foundation brush to kind of blend that in. And I'm gonna follow up with a beauty blender to further blend the concealer in the skin. Next, we're gonna be priming the face. I'm gonna be priming everywhere else that I didn't add concealer to. So that includes my nose and I'm starting up with the oil control primer that area and other areas around my mouth and then we're gonna go with the smoothing primer and they're both by makeup forever we're gonna apply that to the rest of the face to kind of seal those pores away next we're going with a MAC mineralized concealer NC50 I'm gonna be applying that on every place that I color correct including some marks on my skin as well and we're going to take that same beauty blender and blend everything really seamlessly Next, we're going with this awesome foundation that I got from Pure Cosmetics. It's their Hydra Fluid Water Serum Foundation in dark. And I'm just tapping all that all over my face first. And then I'm taking that beauty blender to blend everything out. This foundation is light to medium coverage, so you have to build it up. Next, we're going to be applying this e.l.f. Tame and Brow in dark. And I'm using that to tame my brows for my whole eyebrow process. And the only thing I'm using for my brows today is going to be the Anastasia Dip Brow Pro Made because I want to keep this as simple as possible. And I'm applying this really lightly, not as heavy as I normally usually do because I want my brows to look very natural in this look. And then all you need to do is clean up them brows. I'm using a very similar tone concealer to clean up the brows. And then we're applying the Maybelline Lumi Concealer in Honey. We're going to apply that under the eyes first. And we're going to follow up with the LA Girl Concealer in Fawn. And that's going to go right on top of it. For that extra brightening effect. And then we're also going to highlight everywhere else that we need to highlight. And blend it out with a beauty blender. Next, we're going with the Sasha Cosmetics Setting Powder in Buttercup. We're going to use that to set everywhere that we highlight it because we want the concealer to stay there all day long. Now, we're going to start using the Tartlet in Bloom Palette, but first, I need to prime my eyes. So, I'm using the MAC Painterly Paint Pot, and I'm using that with a synthetic brush all over the lid, and then we're going to blend it out with our fingers. Now, in this palette, we're going with this color that's very similar to that MAC Painterly Paint Pot. We're going to use it to set that paint pot so it doesn't crease. And then we're going with this nice reddish brown. We're going to be applying that as a transition color. It's going to kind of tie in the whole look. Then we are going with another color that is next to it actually. So we're just going to make sure we buff that right under the transition color. And it's like a kind of burgundy brown. So it's really pretty. The next color we're going with is right next to it. We're just going to apply that liberally in the outer V. It's going to kind of darken the crease, give more depth to the look without being over, over the top. Then we're going back into that same brown shade to blend everything out so that there are no harsh lines. So 
Now we're going into that deep shade that we had in the outer V. We're going to bring that right on the lower lash line by the outer V and make sure we buff that really well. And then we're going to follow up with that rustic brown shade right by that burgundy shade and blend it together. And also leave the inner corners alone because we're going to apply something special in that area. Next we're going with our lid shade. It's a really dark bronze shade. We're applying that all over the lid making sure we blend that into the crease as well. Now we're going with that same burgundy shade. We're gonna like make sure we, we enforce the outer V color because we kind of lost some when we applied the lid shade. Now I'm going with that same bronze shade. We're gonna apply that right at the inner corners and bringing it slight in and making sure that dark rustic brown color stays under. And then for the inner corners, we're going with this all pink champagne color and it's gonna make the eyes really bright. Now we're gonna be tying the inner rim. I'm using this balm right now. The color is called Jack, so it's a really nice bronze shade. I'm applying that to the inner rim. And then for the brow bone, we're going with just that same matte shade that we had on top of the painterly pot in the beginning of the video. So kind of reinforcing that because I don't want anything shimmery. And then we're going to line our eyes. This wing liner is exceptionally long and thin. I like really, really was like trying to do it really thin and long. If you do not know how to do a wing liner, I will have a video coming up on that. Now we're gonna apply falsies. I'm using House of Lashes, but first of all, I have to apply my mascara, of course, to kind of begin the process. There we go, we're gonna apply our lashes. And these lashes are really thick, so take your time when you're applying them if you do have these lashes at home. Now we're gonna apply mascara to the rest of the lower lashes as well. gonna dust that powder that we got baking for god knows how long and when you dust it everything looks all perfect and yummy so i'm using the black radiance contour palette using the darkest shade to kind of contour those features and then we're using the sculpting powder we're gonna use that like a little bit on top of that color it's gonna kind of give a transition to the contour so it doesn't look so harsh and then we're gonna use that same sculpting powder to contour the nose as well. Now we're gonna use this tart blush. I will list that down below, I forgot the name. And I'm applying that to the apples of the cheeks. And then I'm using Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Old Darling. It came out in their limited edition for uh, holiday collection. If you have something similar, you can bring it out and apply that to the highlight features of your face. And then we're gonna be applying a lip liner. This is Coco Loco Lip Liner from Jordana Cosmetics. We're gonna use that to fill our lips. Not fill it completely, line the lips, I mean. And then for my lips, I'm using ColourPop Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Chili Chill. I absolutely love this lip color. It's to die for. And here is the completed look, guys. I hope you guys really enjoy this look. I really had fun creating this for you guys. If you guys like this look, please don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys again for your love and support. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.